Harleyville parents speak out after a picture on social media shows students sitting on the floor of a crowded school bus. The picture was posted on the Collierville Schools unofficial community page this week. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. WRG's Mike Sirianni talked with a concerned parent who says bus overcrowding isn't the only issue students and parents are upset about. I would like to say that I was shocked. It's not the first time I've heard or seen pictures along those lines. It's been going on for years. This parent of a Collierville Middle School student doesn't want to be identified, but is sounding off about a recent picture on the Collierville School's unofficial community page, showing a crowded school bus operated by Durham School Services. Uh, they're sitting three to a seat or even on the floors. The picture sparked dozens of comments among them, quote, my eight year old tells me that on occasion he has to sit in the aisles and the floor. I thought he was joking. This is unbelievable. And my kids don't ride the bus, but this is not OK. I hope this issue can be resolved for these poor kids soon. WREG does not have permission to show the picture of the incident, which reportedly happened Monday on one of Durham's routes. The parent company of Durham emailed this response, stating in part, quote, We can confirm that yesterday we had some overcrowding on one of our routes. A driver called out, so we had to double up for this assigned route. The driver of this route did not follow protocol by calling in this concern of overcrowding to our dispatcher. They have been coached to ensure that this does not occur again. Our anonymous parent just hopes safety procedures are enforced before it's too late. That would be absolutely horrendous uh, for one of our kids to get hurt or, you know, one of the buses to be involved in a wreck and multiple children get hurt. In Collierville, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Now, officials at Collierville schools say they will be getting back to us about the school bus overcrowding issue. In the meantime, parents also express concerns about mechanical issues in late pickups and drop offs. In the meantime, school board members are meeting now and are expected to approve the shared pupil services transportation agreement with Durham for the next three years.